What's up, everyone? So, uh, Josh and Donnie talking about power kicks and how to hold the pads. So, I'm gonna uh, share uh, this knowledge with you guys. Here we go. What's up, everyone? Um, write something. Let me see if it works. Oh, I see some stuff. Good morning. Well, good afternoon. Uh, tip of the day power kicks and uh, how to hold the pads properly so you don't get hurt and your partner doesn't get hurt. What's up, Andrew? What's up, Taylor? Here we go. That way, when it comes time to drop the level, you know right where it's going or raise the level. You know right where it's going, but same spot. That way, you can start breathing over and over. Then when the target moves, you can move your leg to where the target needs to be because you know where it's gonna land every time. So accuracy is more important. Even if you have to start slow, to find the accuracy. But be able to be accurate so that you don't hurt someone or yourself. Elbows move, bodies move, heights change. But if you kick random, you can't control where the leg is gonna go. That's one of the things that I really, and it's important when pad holding, because if you over kick the pad, you could injure your partner. Or if you kick under the pad, you could break your foot on their elbow. So it's really important to be responsible to aim to the center of the pads for both people. So that's one of the things that I've been really, I get really on the guys in the class about, is that accuracy, even when punching, don't worry about how hard your punch, if it's solid on the pad, doesn't turn, doesn't rotate, the pad doesn't flip around. Then when you hit the face solid, it doesn't always have to be hard. A solid, clean punch are usually the ones that slip them out. Not always those heavy, wind up, crazy ones. If you don't know where it's gonna go and their head moves, you graze their head versus right on the money. So we work on accuracy, accuracy, accuracy. It's like shooting a gun, right? You know, you need to be accurate. You guys hear that? You gotta be accurate with your punches, your kicks, your knees, and your elbows. And if you're shooting a gun, you gotta be accurate with that too. So, um, uh, let me, key thing, like on a bag, if the bag starts spinning, don't kick it. Because if you're throwing straight kicks, it might throw your, your leg off and your knee might get, you know, hyperextended. Same thing with the, the, like the pad holder, if they if, if they, they have it at a certain point and you kick lower, you might clip the elbow, and that's gonna hurt not only your pad holder, but it's gonna hurt you as the kicker, or the or if you're punching, if, you, if you're missing and they're not hit, meeting your punch, you can hyper hyperextend your elbow. All kinds of little key things that you guys can uh, learn uh, to help uh, be a better partner and better trainer. And uh, you know, a lot, a lot of times, if you have a training partner, you can train with your uh, tr uh, training partner, uh, but you, at the same time, gotta be a good training partner for your partner. So that's, for me, that's key. Like, Donnie and I, we, we spar all the time, you know? Um, and you know, th th I get some comments out there, oh, this guy's getting thrown all the time. If you come in here and someone's a specialist at throwing, you're gonna get thrown. Especially if you're gonna come and spar with me, you're gonna get thrown on your head. And Donnie's in there, he's learning, and actually he's, he's harder to throw now, and he's gotten a lot better, and he's improving, and that's the key. Everyone, you help your partner to improve, and that helps you to improve as a martial artist. That's, that's key for me. Be a good partner, good trainer, good teacher, good person, and uh, you know, don't be talking the smack, especially behind a keyboard. Thanks, Sam. Hey, what's up, Sam? Uh, Sam, better get on that editing. Hey, I'm telling you, my boy Sam here, he is an amazing actor. He's a tough-ass motherfucker, too. Uh, excuse my Vietnamese, uh, but he took my spinning back kick. Even though he had a, a crazy strong pad, I sent him through the, the, the glass in Dragon Eyes, and uh, I just casted him for uh, the short project I, I did, um, and we're gonna make the real movie. Amazing actor, tough ass mofo, and uh, he, he took it, he took it like a champ. Even though we didn't need no wires, cause you know, I, you know, I gave him a little extra on the kick so he can fly. Um, you know, that's, when you make movies with uh, Kung Lee, 
uh, you, we don't need wires if you're getting hit. You, you're you're going to be flying. Boy, spell my name right. No, I'm just kidding, Andrew. Um, all right, guys. Uh, let's figure out. Uh, I'll wait for the coach over there to stop talking and uh, giving tips to Donnie. And then um, we'll, we'll do some like power kicks for you guys. What's up, Peter? Look what? Looky, looky. <laughs> Kung Lee, do do a Bruce Lee scream? Oh, man, come on, Bruce Lee's doing his own thing. Kung Lee does his own thing. Thanks for the tip. No, oh, no problem, Michael. Um, yeah, I, I, every time I get on here, I'm gonna try to give some kind of tip for you guys. Be sure uh, to follow uh, uh, KungLeeOfficial.com. Find out what's going on. Find out what's casting. You know, when my movie's gonna cast for some villains, some guys uh, to shoot and stab and punch. Uh, it's, you gotta be in the area though. Um, unless you have nothing to do, you can fly yourself out and we'll figure it out if you uh, you know, uh, there's gonna be a, a process. You have to go through some uh, screening to get casted. It's not, it's all, it's not all on me. Uh, I don't want to put that kind of uh, pressure on myself. I already have so much to do. I'm gonna choreograph all the fights, uh, be the lead actor, and, and uh, just make some real awesome stuff. Um, other than that, we are. It's Friday. We, I'm happy. Um, about to go up to my. Buddy Al's wedding. He's getting married. He's gonna join the club, amazing club. You have an amazing partner. So uh, for all you lovers out there, all you married couples out there, keep it real. Keep it. Um, keep it lasting. Just, you know, think out of the box. Keep things going. Be romantic. Talk to your partners. Communicate, and uh, give them lots of love because they've been around with you and put up with your shit, and they deserve it. They deserve the best of you. And I, my wife deserves the best of me, so I'm always trying to improve as a human being, and, um, and as, as a husband, as a father, and as a, you know, as me. Let's, uh, let's go through some uh, technique here. Stop talking about love. Talk about pain now. Pain when you train and you hurt, and when you kick and punch somebody, the pain you cause on them. They're, st they're still talking. I don't want to interrupt. I want to be uh, patient. That's the word. What's up, Jack? What's up, Taylor? Damn, Sam got off. I think he got embarrassed because I said he was a good actor. <laughs> Sam, what's up, boy? Get to editing, motherfucker. Excuse my Vietnamese again. Jesus, I'm talking a lot of Vietnamese today. Too much uh, Fs and B words. Josh, you want to do a little pad and uh, Donnie can hold and, uh, and then maybe give a couple tips on like how to hold it properly for power kickers? You want to kick or you want me to kick? I'll kick. Okay. You're better. I was going to say, I'm not no. kicking nothing. <laughs> Yo, I'll grab my pads. Guys, get this. I'm already tired. He, he killed me and it was only three rounds of like nonstop pace. I'll post that in a little bit, Instagram. Like, we call it, the, I, I call it the Furious Five because I'm trying to take him out and gas him out before the last 30 seconds and I got a clip in there. As soon as I heard the 30 seconds, I knew he was gonna bring it and I had no choice except to bring it back. I so, call it bullshit. I about the key about pad holding because there's a lot of people. So, one of, one of the things that you wanna do when you pad hold is one, we want to adjust like as if we were fighting. So I want to have a stance similar to fighting. The, the reason for pad holding is if Kung will throw a light body kick. If Kung was to kick my body without the pads, we want his technique to be the same as if the pads were there. So if I hold the pads way out here, now I'm teaching Kung 
His brain and his mind sees a person's body and it gets used to kicking it five or six inches away from where their body should naturally be versus kicking the body into the body. So if I hold the pads where the front one lines up with the front of my body and the back one is just catching the rest of the, catching the, rest of the leg, he's gonna aim his kick into the front pad. No different than if I wasn't holding. Ready? Nice and smooth. Again. When you catch the tie, now he kicks really hard. Sometimes what we do is also kick again, we can sit into the kick to brace the kick. Go again. That way, it's not here. Now if you try to do this, it can get really <laughs> dangerous because if the kicker kicks really hard, oh, my hands can hit my face, the handles, my thumb can jab my eye. You know, lots of bad stuff that can happen. So you want the pads as tight to your body as possible. And you want to also think about sometimes people's hips, range of motion. Maybe they can't, I'm 6'3", they maybe not can't kick up here, right? So I want to think about where's the center of his body, the most accurate place for him to kick. And if you ever notice your partner, not his hips are unable to kick with good technique high. Don't make him try to stretch. We want to sit down so show a little bit lower kick. So I would want to sit my body down in order to adjust for their hip capability because everybody has different flexibility and capabilities with their hip. And so until they can kick a little bit higher, you want to work with that height with your legs and your upper body. Also, if you lean away from the kick, it creates a dangerous angle. I see this a lot in beginner paddle. They don't want their face by it, so they lean back. So we always want to lean our shoulder over, creating a, a arc with our body so that even if he does kind of mid kick high on the pad, right. go ahead, it's medium pace, that it's still going to push into my chest, not up the pad into my face. Awesome tip, guys. This is uh, very important that if you're holding pads for someone, make it as real as possible for safety on both partners, the, the kicker and the pad holder. That's your tip of the day. Thank you, Josh. Buddy cop. Follow him on um, Instagram. Follow Donnie Creed on Instagram. And you can pick him up on my Instagram. Just go to who I follow. They're on there. Check them out. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I better start making my way to the other gym. I might do a little knife work here with Donnie, and then uh, and that's it. Got to work that knife technique. Got to got to keep up with my uh, my mentor in that in that area, the Two Lamb Ronin Tactics. He's a beast, um, and then uh, just got to improve and always keep your cup of tea empty so you can learn and learn and learn. Have a great Friday. I'll catch you guys on the other side uh, of the, the, the realm of this world. <laughs> All right, bye.